IT administrators today are tasked with the incredibly complex duty of managing their IT enterprises. Now these enterprises typically consist of many different types of hardware platforms, such as x86, x86-64, ARM devices, and mainframes, including IBM Power and IBM System Z. Now each of these come with their own suite of tools that IT can use to maintain each individual hardware platform. Now, when you start putting operating systems on top of that hardware, such as Linux, Unix, Mac, and Windows, it adds another layer of variability and complexity that the IT admin has to manage, because all of these operating systems come with their own set of management tools. Now remember, this is in addition to the tools that the hardware vendor provided. Let's drill down to just the Linux estate. Here, organizations have many different distributions on those many different hardware platforms like SUSE, Red Hat, Ubuntu, CentOS, Oracle, and more. This represents yet another layer of complexity because each of these distributions comes with its own suite of tools that the admin can use to administer that particular distro on that particular hardware. Over time, the IT admin ends up with layers and layers of tools that have to be used in order to manage all of those different layers and layers of hardware platforms, distributions, and workloads. And in no time, they find themselves with a huge pile of tools, a dizzying number of tools, and it quickly becomes so complicated that it's difficult to even know which tool you need to use for which layer of the Linux estate. Let's drill down just a little farther. This is where we start to see the differences between open source companies, because they're not all the same. Take for example SUSE and Red Hat. The way just those two vendors approach Linux management is very different. Let's say that this is your IT enterprise. Now notice that you've got some green SUSE Linux servers here, and you've also got some Red Hat Linux servers. There are also some orange Ubuntu servers here too, and you may have many other colors in that Linux rainbow deployed as well. So as you can see, satellite can be used to manage and maintain all of your Red Hat servers. For example, you could bring up a virtual server. You can make sure that it's provisioned correctly. You can verify that it's patched properly. You can verify that it has the latest packages installed. And you can verify that it's compliant with your security protocols. As long as you're working with a Red Hat server, satellite can help you maintain and manage it. Now SUSE Manager can do all of those things too, but with one vital difference. With SUSE Manager, you can manage your entire Linux enterprise. Not just SUSE, not just Red Hat, all of it, regardless of the distribution. You can even set up your own security protocols, and SUSE Manager will make sure those protocols are adhered to. With SUSE Manager, you can simplify all of these IT complexities with an all-encompassing toolset that allows you to manage all of your Linux distributions. And this makes it possible to consolidate the number of tools you need to manage whatever Linux distributions you have in your enterprise. Whereas with Satellite, you can only manage your Red Hat servers. In fact, Red Hat Satellite can't even see server instances of other Linux distributions, let alone manage them. By providing a Linux management suite that can see and maintain all of your Linux distributions, not just one of them, SUSE Manager consolidates all of the many different distribution specific tools down to one suite that can manage everything. One tool set, one user interface, one set of terms to learn, and one skill set are all that's required to manage your entire Linux estate. That's how you simplify Linux IT management. Let's look at this from where it hurts the most, budget. Now budgets are already thin, and at a time when every enterprise is being tasked with transformation, many people are wondering where they're going to get the money they need to put towards strategic initiatives. We may have an answer for you. You can find it by consolidating your Linux management tools. For example, let's suppose that you use Red Hat Satellite to manage the Red Hat servers in your organization. Now, to do this, you have to allocate a significant amount of money from your IT budget to pay for your Red Hat Satellite subscription. Here's the key thing to remember in this scenario. This investment can only manage a subset of your total Linux estate. On the other hand, let's say you reallocate those funds towards SUSE Manager instead. Now in this situation, you're still spending the same amount of money, but now you can manage all of the distributions in your enterprise that SUSE Manager can see, which is pretty much all of them. 
So why pay for multiple Linux management suites like Red Hat Satellite that can each only manage a fraction of your Linux estate when you could instead recoup all that money by implementing a single toolset that can manage your entire Linux footprint regardless of the distribution? Let's look at another scenario. Understand that many companies keep their Linux distributions siloed, meaning they manage their SUSE servers with SUSE Manager, they manage their Red Hat servers with Red Hat Satellite, and they manage their other distributions with their respective management tools. Here's the important thing to remember. In this situation, they have to manage everything in parallel. Now, this is not only difficult because they have to learn multiple tool sets, interfaces, and terminology, it's also expensive because they have to use IT budget to pay for each tool used to manage each Linux silo. Now, if you instead go with a single tool set that can manage across Linux silos, then you only have to spend budget on one Linux management suite, and you can recoup the budget spent on the other Linux management tools that are not only redundant to SUSE Manager, but also only address a portion of your Linux estate. This allows you to reinvest the money saved on more strategic initiatives. So whether you're talking to a customer that manages many Linux distributions in silos or to a customer that doesn't even have a Linux management tool set yet, SUSE Manager can be the one Linux management suite needed and the one budget line item investment needed to manage their entire Linux enterprise. As you can see, SUSE Manager is the Swiss Army knife of Linux IT management tools. It's not limited to just managing SUSE alone. It doesn't matter which distribution's been deployed, and it doesn't matter whether it's been deployed on physical servers, on virtual servers, in containers, on the edge, or up in a public or private cloud. If SUSE Manager can see it, then SUSE Manager can manage it, and that gives you the streamlined flexibility that you need to take your business further today.